Grade 4 Math, number 27, Area Models and Partial Products. These are for two-digit multiplication. Okay, here's the partial products we're going to be doing in the area model. We're going to make an outline of the numbers we want to multiply. If we want to multiply 16 times 14, we're going to get some graph paper and some little boxes on it, and we're going to count 16 boxes going this way for that 16, and 14 boxes going down for that 14. And however many number of boxes is inside of here is what 16 times 14 equals. We're going to split this big rectangle into smaller ones by the tens and ones. It's going to look like that all split up, okay, or like this, or like this. Then we're going to multiply the smaller rectangle numbers, and then when we're all done multiplying, we're going to add all the totals, okay? So, we've got a 16 by 14 box here. This is how it's going to be split up, so pay really close attention to these colors. We've got 16 times 14. We're going to multiply the 10 from the 16 times the 10 from the 14. The green one times the purple one. See that? Then we're going to multiply the 6 from the 16 to the purple 10 in the 14. Then we're going to multiply the green 10 from the 16 to the pink 4 in the 14, and then we're going to multiply the 6 and the 4. And each one of these is a little box that ends up being made in our rectangle. Here is our 10 by 10 box right here, okay, the green and purple one. And what is 10 times 10? 10 times 10 is 100, isn't it? Okay. Then we do 6 times 10. That's this one right here. And what is 6 times 10? 6 times 10 is 60, isn't it? Then we're going to do the 10 times 4, which is right here. And 10 times 4 is, do you know? It's 40. Then we're going to do the 6 times 4. That's right here. 6 times 4 is 24. Then all we have to do is add these four numbers together, and we'll know what 16 times 14 is. Okay? So, 10 times 10 is 100. 6 times 10 is 60, 10 times 4 is 40, and 6 times 4 is 24. We add these up, 0, 0, 0, and 4 is 4, and 0, 6, 4, and 2 is 12. See, 10, 11, 12, carry the 1, put the 2 down, and 1 and 1 is 2. So, 16 times 14 is 224. Isn't that cool how we got it? So let's try another one. We've got 14 times 19. So we've got 14 boxes going down here, 10 and 4. And we've got 19 boxes going this way, 10 and 9. We split the 14 into a 10 and a 4. And we split the 19 into 19 is 10 and 9. See it? So now we've got a 10 times 10, and that's 100. We've got a 4 times 10, which is the purple space, and that's 40. We've got a 10 times 9, which is the orange space, and that's 90. And we've got a, a yellow space of 4 times 9, which is 36. Now we're going to add these all up. 0, 0, 0, and 6 is 6. 4 and 9 is 13, 14, 15, 16. Carry the 1, put the 6 down and 1 and 1 is 2. So 14 times 19 is 266. See? Let's try this one, 15 times 22. There's 15 spaces going this way and 22 going this way. So I broke it into 10 times 20. This 10 times this 20, okay? That left a little 2 left over times 10. And then we've got a 5 times 20 and a 5 times 2. So when we do them, you can see they're all color coordinated, okay? 10 times 20, 1 times 2 is 2. And then we can just add the two zeros, can't we? 5 times 2 is 10. And add a 0 at the end makes 100. 10 times 2 is 20. 
and 5 times 2 is 10. Now we just need to add this up. 0, 3, and 3. So the four boxes got multiplied. They totaled 330, so 15 times 22 is 330. Let's try another one. 13 times 17. We've got 13 boxes going this way and 17 boxes going this way. Maybe you could try doing this one with me. We've got a 10 times 10. We've got a 10 times 7. We've got a 3 times 10 and a 7 times 3. 10 times 10 is 100. Whoops. 3 times 10 is 30. 10 times 7 is 70. And 3 times 7 is 21. Now let's add these up. We've got 1. We've got 10, 11, 12. Carry the 1, put the 2 down. And 1 and 1 is 2. So 13 times 17 is 221. All right. Now this one I made by hand. I didn't have, uh, I didn't want to use graph paper to show you that you don't need the graph paper. The squares don't have to be perfect. They just have to be there. So now we've got 12 times 12. So we've got our 10 times 10. We've got a 10 times 2, which is the orange one here. We've got a 2 times 10, which is the yellow one here. And we've got a 2 times 2, which is the purple one. Okay? And all together, that makes 12 times 12. See, there's 12 this way and 12 that way. So, it's all broken up into the 10s and 1s, and 10 times 10 is 100. 10 times 2 is 20. 2 times 10 is 20. And 2 times 2 is 4. And we add these all up, and we get 0, 0, 0, 4. 2 and 2 is 4. And we bring the 1 down. And 12 times 12 is 144. So that's a strategy to do multiplication by using area models and partial products. All you have to do is break that big number down into pieces, like this, and then multiply them together. But just make sure that you multiply the tens times the tens, the ones times the tens, the tens times the ones, and the ones times the ones. I don't know if you can remember that one. So there's four parts that would have to be multiplied in two two-digit numbers. Now, if there was three digits in this number and three digits in that number, you would have a lot more parts to multiply, wouldn't you? Yeah, you'd have six parts to multiply. So now you know how to do the area models and partial products for two-digit multiplication. I'll see you next video. Bye.